What is the minimum requirement for lighting outlets in a dwelling unit bedroom? Is it must have a ceiling mounted light fixture? Must have a switch controlled receptacle? Can have either or must have both? And the correct answer is can have either. And for this one, we're going to take a look at the paraphrase code language. Let's head over to 210.70. Today we're going to be taking a look only at A1 and exception number one, but there are a lot of goodies in this code section here. Some of them I've taught on previously and some I haven't. In section A1 it says, in dwelling units, the installation of lighting outlets, outlets must follow the guidelines of part A1 and A2. Let's look at A1. Habitable rooms, which is a defined term, kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms. Each habitable room, as well as kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms, must have at least one lighting outlet operated by a listed wall-mounted control device. This control device must be positioned near the room's entrance on the wall. So a lot of this was new code language in the 2020. The NEC now recognizing that listed wall-mounted control devices could mean anything. It could be a remote control device, or it could be a general snap switch like we're used to seeing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a switch. The same thing with the second part here where it says this control must be positioned near the room's entrance on the wall. That was brought into the 2020 and held true in the 2023. The language is still there. And this code language here at the end of part one is where the NEC starts nearing entering into being a design manual. And it says at the beginning of the NEC is that it's not a design manual. So the question is, when it starts dictating where the switches are required to be, and we don't have further clarification, could it cause more confusion? But that's something that we can hatch out in the later code cycles. What that code there, part one, is saying is that you have to have lights in habitable rooms, including kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms. We have to be able to see in those areas. Remember, a lighting outlet is somewhere that you hang a luminaire. An outlet is where the power comes out at. Just because you hang around box doesn't necessarily make it a lighting outlet. The moment that you hang a luminaire to it, now it becomes a lighting outlet. So what it's saying here is that we have to be able to see in these areas. But let's take a look at exception one. For rooms other than kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms, one or more receptacles controlled by a listed wall mounted control device can be used instead of lighting outlets. So it's saying, hey, in any of these other rooms that are listed in part one, other than the kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms, you can use a receptacle that's controlled by a general snap switch or a receptacle that's controlled by a listed wall mounted control device, whatever that looks like in the future and now. But one thing that we have to watch out for here is in this code language right here, this is the 2023 version, they've added laundry areas. In previous code cycles, it was only required to have actual lighting outlets in kitchens and bathrooms. And the reason behind the code in general is so you don't have switch control receptacles in a kitchen, meaning you might have to plug in lamps just to get some light. Same thing in a bathroom. We don't want a lamp being controlled by a switch, and that's the only thing providing the light in the bathroom. But the same thing holds true in the laundry area. So, you know, we don't want to have to have a bunch of lamps sitting around just to fold some laundry. So the code is recognized in the 2023 cycle that this needed to be added in, and I think that this is an excellent add. Now in kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms, you must have physical a physical lighting outlet. Now, it doesn't dictate that it has to be on the ceiling. It could technically be on the wall and be a wall sconce. It doesn't dictate the height or anything like that. It just says, hey, you have to have a true traditional lighting outlet in kitchens, laundry areas, and bathrooms. But in the other areas that are required by part one, you're allowed to use a switch control receptacle. And that's perfectly okay. If you go on to part A2, it dictates what you have to do in stairwells and hallways, but that's outside of the scope of today's question. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.